It was a sight to behold as Thailand powerhouse team Buriam United Esports took control of the fourth and final game of the 2021 Arena of Valor International Championship. The five-man force defeated Group A leaders and best of the best in the Vietnamese region V Gaming in the Game 7 tiebreaker, claiming their share in a massive $1 million prize pool and the title of world champion. Climbing back after three losses in a row, it was Birium United's KSSA on the sword wielder Tachi who came alive in Game 5, supporting his team with 12 assists while staying alive all match long. Tachi's passive spellbound infused KSSA with energy, activating one out of four directional glyphs on attack. These attacks healed him for a small portion and increased his movement speed for a short duration. Additionally, KSSA sliced and diced the V-Gaming squad with Moon Pierce. In its eclipse phase, he struck and slowed all enemies in a line in front of him. With four fully charged glyphs, KSSA unlocked the attack's full phase. After a small charge, Tachi Sword struck the enemy team for a generous amount of true damage. Tachi's ultimate cliff breaker saw KSSA leap into the air before striking his enemies on the ground twice. This dealt massive physical damage to each player hit, breaking all four of his seals in the process. With an outstanding 146,000 points of damage inflicted onto the V Gaming side in Game 6, Abyssal Dragon laner DeFoxen shredded the opposition on the fast and deadly Hayate the Ghost Walker. Hayate's iconic shuriken toss is core to his kit. These spinning projectiles dealt physical damage to DeFoxen's targets and increased his movement speed while attacking. When going for more of an in-your-face approach, DeFoxen popped Hayate's shadow step to teleport a short distance in front of him. The ability also granted 10% movement speed and damage if an enemy player was close by, so that the dragon laner could continue the chase down. Hayate's ultimate kunai blitz is definitely the stuff of nightmares. This short-range teleport sent out continuous kunai waves that triggered special bonus effects from Hayate's normal attacks. Players on the receiving end of the kunai blitz had to either take down Defoxen quickly or attempt to run out of range of this chaotic killing tornado. And to end the Arena of Valor International Championship with flying colours, mid laner Nunu took home the final MVP for the Grand Final Series, ending the World Tournament with a talented Crixie. Crixie is a long-ranged mage with a spring in her step. Her mischief ability summoned a clone of herself to fire at the V Gaming Squad and return to her location. This, however, dealt less damage as it passed through multiple enemy targets. With Nature's Wrath, Nunu was able to select a target location and blast his enemies into the air for magic damage. This knocked up any V Gaming member caught in its radius, making Nature's Wrath a brutal AoE crowd control. The real power of this ferocious fairy came in the form of her ultimate ability, Moonfall. This meteor shower bombarded the enemy team with magic damage while increasing Nunu's movement speed by 15%. These three heroes help Buriam United Esports achieve success on the world stage and can help you take the win in your next match of Arena of Valor. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with the amazing esport content from around the gaming globe. Only on Unbeaten Esports.